Hello, all of my awesome artist friends. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make sidewalk paint. I've been seeing a lot of really cool creations on Facebook and Twitter with all these beautiful stained glass designs. And I thought it would be fun if you don't already know how to make sidewalk paint, instead of using chalk, you can paint it on. And it's a lot of fun and it's safe for any ages. So all you need to make sidewalk paint is water, cornstarch, and some uh, food coloring. I didn't have the liquid food coloring, but I do have the gel and that will work. You need some plastic containers with lids to store the paint. You want to make sure that you get containers that are low profile, that aren't really high, that way little little hands won't knock over the, the paint cup and spill the paint everywhere. So low uh, bowls are really nice to use. So the recipe is, is a very simple. It's just one part uh, cornstarch to one part water, and then you're going to want to whisk it up really good with a uh, whisk. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out. I already measured out two cups of water. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had enough paint for all the colors on the color wheel, the primary and secondary colors. So I'm gonna measure out one cup. I, I like to make a big batch first and then, and then distribute the the mixture into the containers and then add the colors later. So let's see here. So that looks like about two cups. And you can find if um, if you find that your mixture is too liquidy, you can add a little more starch. If you find that it is too thick, then you can add more water to it. So just kind of play around with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put out my containers. The fun thing about this too is that it's easy cleanup and it will not stain your sidewalk. So I only got five, so I'll just make five colors, so that's okay. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some liquid gel here. And this is the fun part that the kids can work on is mixing up the paint. So the more color you add, the brighter the color will be. But since it's Easter time, we'll do pastel colors, which are a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna start off with our primary colors. If you watched my Claymation color wheel video, you guys know that the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Now, since this will be mixed with this white, it's actually gonna be pink because when you add white to a color, it lightens it. So the red looks more pink. But if you want it to be darker, you can add some more red to it. Shake all that extra pink out of there. Now yellow. And it's okay if you don't have all the colors because you can mix and make the colors that you want with the primary colors because you can make all the colors with just the primary colors. So I think I want to make purple because purple is a pretty Easter holiday color. So if you guys watch my video, you know that you mix red with what color? 
Did I hear you say blue? Yep, you're right. Red plus blue equals purple. A plus for color mixing math, friends. Well, look at that pretty purple. Now, if you find that your purple is too blue, then it probably has too much blue in it. If it looks too reddish, then it has too much red in it. So then you can go back and add a little more of each if you don't like how your colors turned out. All right, so now let's see. I can make green or I can make orange. I think I wanna make green. So the two colors to make green are blue, little bit of blue. Remember, and you said yellow, you are right. Blue plus yellow equals green. So let's see this mix up. Get all this purple off there, because if there's too much purple on here, it'll turn brown. Oh wow, that's a pretty green. You can use any household brushes. Uh, stay tuned for uh, painting outside. <laughs>